Hey, this is Lotsmith, and today I saw that Neath of Empires released a short gameplay video of Siege Battle. So let's check it out and see how it goes. Okay, let's pause the video here. So, in Myth of Empires, different guilds compete over regions and counties. Siege warfare is one of the major aspects of this ongoing struggle for supremacy. Unlike many of the structures in Myth of Empires, the main structures of county buildings cannot be destroyed. So, it seems that there will be buildings that can be destroyed and they definitely be built by other players. And there are some structures that are pre-designed, like fixed structures that you cannot destroy. So the strength of both offensive and defensive factions will be determined by how many resources they have, their tactical coordination and the individual abilities of their players. The faction that wins these siege battles will control over their respective county and it will gain certain powers over it. Okay, so this siege battle reminds me of New World. They have also similar you know, system where, you know, these factions compete one another and fight for the territory and they, they take over territory, they they hold their forts and they have to defend themselves from other factions that want to take over that territory. Yeah, so this, this siege warfare reminds me of New World. So let's see the gameplay footage and see how the action goes. Okay, nice music. <laughs> oh, so it seems that the players are building structures. So I'm wondering if it's like a part of the siege, like you can build certain structures or maybe like building a fort that the other, you know, clans can attack and destroy it. So maybe the difference that like compared to New World sieges is that the sieges and forts are pre-built and you just simply just many put some siege weapons, but here you can actually build like structures and more maybe complex defenses so that other players could destroy or... Yeah, this this looks nice. If, if, if that's how it works, I, I would actually like to see some more building elements and during sieges, more like complex armories and, and things like that, you know. Okay, let's move forward. Yeah, so it seems that there's a fort and the opposing force wants to take over it. And here's the icon as I like the front gate. And probably this is some kind of capture point you reach and you take over, or maybe it's it's the main it's the main like I don't know, target point you need to destroy to take over the fort. Wait, was that like a flamethrower or something? <laughs> nice touch. Okay. Okay, so what I can tell from watching this part of the video where the horse riders fighting it's the, the horse combat is clanky i'd have to say it needs more polish but of course this game is an alpha and hopefully they're gonna improve the combat okay so let's move forward oh okay this is i think this is the target point you want to have to take over to win a certain I don't know, to win the certain target point so we could move forward like like a new world we'll have to take over the certain capture point so we could progress in the battle
Okay, so, so this combat part reminds me of like Conan Exiles, like this melee combat there is just like <laughs> slashing your weapons from one side to another. Okay, so so see we can see here the this probably it's the main point that needs to be destroyed to take over the fort, some kind of end game goal to win this territory or county. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so I would say this the game looks pretty good. And of course it's in alpha so i guess we can expect more from it as it's still in development and the game reminds me of new world and maybe conan exiles mix and maybe if they can add more elements to it like more like new world what is missing is like building the houses having your own force like having your own structures that people can raid or fight and the combat, but but the combat could be improved in Myth of Empires compared to New World, and it reminds a bit more of Conan Exiles, which is not that great. So yeah, but I'm looking forward to this game, and I'm looking forward to more videos because this game looks potentially really good. Yeah. So this was Bloodsmed again, and if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe or join the Discord channel for more info on MMO or co-op games with RPG and survival elements. So thank you for watching and see you next time.